Governments need to be proactive and consider the what-ifs should the coronavirus reach the shores of the Caribbean region. This from a panel discussion held at the University of the West Indies Cave Hill campus in Barbados this morning. Panelists comprised economists, executive members of the Port Authority and hotel and tourism sectors, all weighing in on how worldwide concerns surrounding COVID-19 are directly affecting the region. Crystal Wilson reports. Director of Economics at the Caribbean Development Bank, Dr. Justin Ram, said governments might be forced to consider guaranteed paid sick leave and health insurance coverage to pay for medical bills associated with the COVID-19 virus. Dr. Ram raised the matter during UE's COVID-19 Partnering the Caribbean's Response discussion held on Monday in Barbados. During his presentation, Dr. Ram explained this consideration would aid in making it easier for persons to self-quarantine. He said the measures meant to protect a person who falls ill and is quarantined and has no income. If, for example, individuals don't have health insurance or that the public health system is insufficient, then we have to think about some way of providing health insurance at this point in time to pay for medical bills associated with the virus. Government should also be encouraged to support and guarantee sick paid leave because if you have guaranteed sick pay leave, then it's going to be easy for you to self-quarantine. Another panelist, Senator Lisa Cummins, who is also chairman of the Barbados Port, said although the World Health Organization has not declared the coronavirus a pandemic, there's a significant global impact and response. Ms. Cummins said what also appears to have been receiving minimal discussion is the human impact of the virus. But there's something very profound about seeing a cruise ship out to sea and seeing people on board those vessels unable to get off. There's something powerful about watching a person on board a cruise ship and communicating by way of digital technologies to their families and their friends that something has happened and they're not sure. Meanwhile, Dr. Michelle McLeod, director of the Center for Hotel and Tourism Management at UWE, remains confident that governments will effectively continue efforts to prevent the virus from entering the region. Some vessels have been um, turned away from ports, but they have gone to ports where any situation can be appropriately handled. And definitely the Caribbean will continue to have cruise ship um, visitors adequately being monitored and contained to deal with any um, particular situations. Panelists agreed that the coronavirus continues to affect both goods and services within the region. A suggestion was made to the private sector to consider the work from home option should employees become infected. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.